everyone, welcome to a street tour of the township, Queno. It's actually right next to Platon Bay Bay and it's a fantastic day out. Let's show you all around. Oh wow, today we're going to show you something so amazing in this episode. We're getting Shizunyama Mapani worms. Oh, that looks really soft. I can't remember what it's called. So this is the N2 heading out of Plettenberg Bay on our way to Sedgefield. But before you get there, you've got Kwane Ketule. Kwane Ketule? Oh wow. Turn off here. And we're in Kwanu. Kwanu, that, that's the short version. Uh, us sophisticated people who know it, we just call it Kwanu now. Is that how you spell Shizunyama? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's an impressive word. A taste of Africa. I love the Africa paintings and everything. Mopani word. Yes. Come check it out. It's Mopani word. No way. Oh, dang. Mopani word. Mopani word. Oh, my Where did you get them? Where did you find them? I don't know. Huh? Oh, my God. I've always wanted to try them. Today is your lucky no. day. <laughs> So right here we've got this beautiful looking fire and this is where they're going to do the cooking. The girls are so excited because of the party worms. The funny worms. Mm-hmm. Oh my word. I found them all the way from Limpopo. They're not easy to find. No. They're like, they're like, uh, Diamond. <laughs> Do you eat them with honey worms? Yeah. Oh, okay. Walk down there towards the stove. Okay. We've got a fire going. She's building it's it up. It's a really hot fire. It really is. But if you have a look, they make the wood, right? On mm -hmm. the side there. And that makes the coals. And they can make the coals. And that's what you cook the meat on. Beautiful coals. But I'm just making that up because I can. Sounds <laughs> good. Sounds good. Heat control. Here we go with the meats. This is the actual shizunyama. Meat cooked on fire. Wow, it is hot there. Oh, look at that, we got some feet. They have a special name. What do you call them here? Walkies. Okay, so they're calling them runaways. Those are the chicken's feet. And then go two bites of pop. Oh. And three sips of and three beer. Of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you have a hangover, the hangover, they are number one. They're number one for the hangover. If you sit on the bar, you'll never go away. <laughs> 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 then you beer. Oh, yeah, you gotta keep it hot. And the whole time you got that fire going. <laughs> Getting some pop done. Get some pop done. Ooh. Oh, and here come the ponies. <laughs> oh, wow. Man, that looks so interesting. Still going with the fire here. Never ends. Good. We call this Yvonne sauce. Yvonne sauce. My wife likes making this sauce. So this is made by Yvonne. Trust's wife sauce. Nice gravy. Good gravy, tomato, onion, and some probably some, some Yvonne secret secrets. <laughs> <laughs> nice box of cutlery and salts and peppers. Oh, and here come the plates. We make pizza. So here we are. We're adding some basting sauce to it. Some secret basting sauce. Oh, and it's looking so good. Oh, yeah, we come with the meat. Oh, ho. Huh? Thank you. 
Just did I put in my mouth more rice. What's that one? Chili. Yeah, I can see Ricky dipping a pizza in that already. <laughs> oh yeah, we're getting a demonstration here. My first chicken food. <laughs> really? Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, really nice. Yeah. Mm. They're sort of like wings. It's like a chicken wing, yeah. Yeah. Just the best bit of the chicken wing, the end piece. Yeah. Oh, getting some chicken wings going. You can smell it all the way at the back there. Oh wow. You can tell these guys aren't vloggers. They're yeah, now they've eaten half the food they're already. <laughs> no need to take pictures. <laughs> yeah, we are trying to take pictures and they just... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think a lack of food is going to be a problem for us though. Oh, absolutely not. Not today. <laughs> we got the chicken and chips. But look, my favorite has arrived, the Russian and chips. Boy, do they know how to feed you here. We're going to have to get to eating, Rick. Have you ever seen a more beautiful table than this? Hey ladies, approve. Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> so we got my piney worms, pumpkin sauce. I'm going to try it. Uh, I'm not quite sure how you actually eat it. Have you ever had a piney worm? That's right. Perfect. And then grab some of the piney worms. They, they Maybe quite, one, eh? They're quite tough. Yeah, I think I've Just start one. with one. <laughs> pumpkin sauce is great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if you guys have been wondering, let's see texture. Mm. Oh, it's actually, they're actually crunchy. I wasn't expecting that. Mm. Let me try break that. Oh, crunchy and chewy. Hang on, you hold this. Okay, I'm feeling that they got like a little head on them that you shouldn't probably eat. So let's... <laughs> Let's dismember his head. I'm not sure you should deconstruct your mapani worms, right? I think it's okay because what are they going to have inside them? Come now, look, it looks like a piece of dry horse or something. Uh huh. It's a buried inside some pup. Like that. Uh huh. Hey guys, thanks for this great food, it looks awesome. <laughs> it is still a proper place, so you are going to get a quart with the bottle the lid on, so don't forget to bring your own way to Nothing quite like ice cold beer and shizunyama. Mm-hmm. Gonna try some of the wings there, Rick. Oh yeah, look at that. They're actually flame cooked. And he has a special technique on how to make them. Mm. Oh, that looks really soft. Mm -hmm. Like just mm -hmm. came straight off the bone. Mm -hmm. Good flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm. It's like really barbecue. Properly barbecue mm -hmm. wings. Mm -hmm. This could be delicious. This is amazing. I've never tasted anything like that. We haven't actually got to the shinyama, which is the important bit. Obviously, you've got our walkie talkies or whatever they're called. Runaways. <laughs> really good. We'll get into that. That's not important. <laughs> we got a piece of meat, like a piece chunk of, of meat. meat. Yeah, and you just pull out, pull off a piece, right? Dip in some chili. Oh no, no, right. Okay, no, eat it. <laughs> Dip it in some chili. Now you made me go there. Uh -huh. Get yourself a little bit of pap, a little bit of, a little bit of sauce. And enjoy. <laughs> mm. Really is enjoyable. Grab yourself a bit of horse. Same idea. Pop. Oh, that chili is really nice. <laughs> Builds a bit. And that's how you do shizunyama. Mix it together, eat it with your hands, ah, and then drink beer. That's it. Mm -hmm. No one's judging here. Everyone is eating and enjoying. <laughs> Chips are really yum as well. Oh, man. And it's such a cool environment because you got like the fire going. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> awesome. You got little bits of meat that you're just chewing on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Grabbing a bit of pap, a little bit of sauce, dipping it in. I feel like I want to dip it in the chili, but that feels bad. <laughs> Russian and chip. We got to talk about the top food in the world. 
well, <laughs> probably in, in, in townships, <laughs> which is the ration, the chip. Normally they serve it on bread and call it a quarter. They are rich, so you are allowed to put a bit of chili on it. Don't do too much. So a little bit of chili. That's a lot of chili. Take your potato <laughs> and cheers everyone. Brian's favorite food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, so that's good. We eat rations. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Everything just has a slightly different flavor around here. Yeah. Uh, mm. You can taste it on, on mostly the chicken I'm finding has got a really different flavor. And that course, and the, but even the pup, mm. they cook it in their own way. Yeah, they really do. And the, this pup and this sauce is, mm. is Von sauce or whatever it's called. It's, it's really good. I think we did well, Rick. I mean, plates are pretty clean, but we managed to get this. A nice little take-home pack. There's pup and sauce underneath oh, and little bits amazing. of everything. I'm looking forward to watching a sunset. Watching a sunset, snacking on that and drinking more beer. So I just started in the restaurant industry as a cleaner. He was mopping the floors and then he moved into the kitchen as a pot scrub. Then he started waitering. And then one of the chefs were off sick and they were short handed and he said, let me help in the kitchen with the cooking. Oh, no, that's pretty. Yeah. Now he's got his own place, and which he, is he awesome. He absolutely loves food. So the primary school? Pakamisani yeah. Primary. So these yeah. are the vendors, people that are selling to school kids. Yeah, well, that's cool. Selling lunch yeah. and snacks. <laughs> Spaza is a ghetto lingo language, a short name for maybe for shops. As they are called spaza, it's something that uh, people in this community can relate with when you say a spaza. Right. Everybody just knows. <laughs> and and we're in the language. <laughs> yes. So everybody knows what you're talking about when you talk of a spaza shop. So here we are, we got some goats. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> do they milk them or do they just eat them for meat? Oh, they're so sweet. They look like Cute. Nubian youngsters. Murray High School. Murray High School. Yes. My uncle says his name differently, but we're going to call him Murray from now on. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Murray. <laughs> oh, I love what they've done with this building. Pink oh, and black. Cute, eh? yeah. yeah. Sometimes see the hens with their little fluffy Ah, Where's your babies? <laughs> wow, you have so many guys going off to the spaza. Enjoy. Look at them all eating their little treat. Mommy points it out and off they go. Got some tourists for you guys. Do you make these? Yeah. Look at this. Oh, it's a proper singer. Shwe shwe fabric. This is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Look at the runner print. A skirt and a waistcoat. Wow. Stunning fabrics. It's beautiful. Thank you. With a pocket. With a pocket. For your Genius. stuff. Uh -huh. Genius. Genius. <laughs> oh, finally. <laughs> There's your phone number. So you can order. Yeah. Low cost hardware. So we actually have a hardware. And you can see some of the places are nicely painted. So they get the paint here. Wow. And I love that there's, you can smell fires going because it's lunchtime and everyone is cooking food. So this is proper rooster cook. Yes, it's like a bread. It is. It's a bread. Oh wow, and it ends up, but you're cooking it on fire. Yeah. Oh wow. That's so cool. You do a lot of them. <laughs> coming coming down here to the township, you, you've just got so much to see, like the sewing there, the rooster cook, and more, more. We just had the shizanyama there, but across the road, there's more shizanyama. Oh, here we go. Amaguinia burger. Amaguinia burger. Deep fried dough. 
and deep fried dough. Yeah. And sort of like a fig cook. Yes, like a fig cook. They exactly. call them amaguinha. So, amaguinha. amaguinha. Yeah. Some caramelized onion. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yes, here we go. Look, oh, here we go. Look, here we go. Whoa. Some A little bit sauce. of secret sauce. Oh, my gosh. Take a look at this. Here's some babachi sauce. Oh, so okay. juicy. Some cheese also if I have, but no, it doesn't have. Oh, but look, you can see it's fried. Oh, wow. wow. Uh, that looks <laughs> awesome. It's a little baby. Oh, you'd find with people, eh? Pick the right home. Uh -huh. Oh man, this is the bread dough that he takes and he fries, so it's actually curing our chair at the moment. Mm. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, 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 Manga penne or something. <laughs> but it means thick cooked uh, burger. And the guy, the guy knows how to... Amaguenia. Yeah. It's called Amaguenia. Yes. But I was just telling Chef, what's your name? Doctor. 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 I was just telling Chef Doctor here that his bun is so good, it's deep fried. But it's what he puts on the inside, it's got that sour pickleness. Uh huh, and I saw the onions. There's some onions, so there's a sweetness from the onion. And then the pop with a little bit of beef, because it, it's a beefy burger. Mm. And then the bread comes through, and it's like, oh <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. Mm. Green shizanyama. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I got myself a new friend, Rick. Not sure what you want to eat first. It's so cute. No, what a sweetie it. pie. It's like, I want to eat your burger. Yeah, he's like come for my burger. <laughs> She does a soup kitchen. Yes. It'll be part of the tour next year. So not okay, this awesome. one, but then the next one. Yes. What's yeah. boxer? Boxer is like a gross, a big grocer chain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's a franchise. Hey, so they're actually building a shopping center. You can see yes. up there, it says boxer. Well, that's useful because a lot of people live here. So yeah. Yes, and transport's a huge thing. Boxer. Never seen one. Here's another food place. Fish and chips on yeah. the left. Fish and chips, quarter and chips. More shiz and yama, and this one with a with a slightly different story because the guy dreamed it while he was in a car accident. Getting the fires going, going whole logs on there. How oh, awesome are these tables? It's like a trestle with a pallet on top. Proper recycling, awesome. One of the best cooks. Uh huh. So this is Thomas' shop, and it's a traditional spaza shop. So this is a spaza shop. Yes. Oh, actually, ask cold drinks. That looks really cool. It's spaza. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the football on. Uh -huh. But everything you actually need: some chips, or tons and tons of pap, mm -hmm. and rice, yes. fruit and veg. And, and it's veg. like a regular shop, though. Yes. Something I did hear about spaza shops is that they have really weird chips. So, boom, boom, bang. Uh, <laughs> eat me. Wow, I don't even know what half those are. I don't know. It's new brands. I know knickknacks and cheesnets. French fries. They actually have a chip called French fries. Oh man, I love this stuff. And these things. I'm not even sure if you can classify them as chips. I think it's breakfast cereal. Breakfast cereal. But wow, some of the stuff is epic. Ice cold coke. And they're so scarce. In a glass. Really? Yeah. In a glass bottle? Yes. Apparently it just tastes better. We shall Absolutely. see. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Oh, ice cold. Ice. So it tastes like Mexican Coke, you know, with cane <laughs> sugar. I'm really? just kidding, it's awesome. Mm. Ice cold Coke. Mm. Cheers. Oh, so there's so much sweeter. Yeah. Cheers. Can you go? <laughs> <laughs> He's a specialist, he does dreadlocks. Uh, dreadlocks is the hair, this kind of hair. Ne? This kind of hair. Yeah, that kind of hair. Hello, so, yeah. So, not everyone can do it. No, no, I'm yeah. sure not. You need to specialize in it. Yeah. So now the gentleman is just going to get washed. Uh, you can see he's enjoying it. Uh-huh. 
big smile on his face. Very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> On a bright sunshine day, you get paid that. You? <laughs> Find someone with dreadlocks. Yeah. Hey, you, come get your hair done. <laughs> yeah, because Boya said, um, we're going to see her, but he doesn't yeah. have anyone to do their hair. So I said, he can do Brian's hair. He can do Brian's hair. And she's like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, but you do get white people that have dreadlocks, eh? Yeah. yeah. They are natural hair. Yeah. There's a lot of them. So, so this is your natural hair that's grown out like this in yeah. dreadlocks. Yeah. 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 And you have to take special care of it then, yeah, obviously, with they cleaning and... Yeah, they keep on and, the hair, mm -hmm. Every month I have to treat... Special treatment yes, to it. Yeah. Yes. You wash, twist and style up. Fascinating. Interesting things you learn. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, in is the way as German, Trelux Saloon, a face to Beshe, a boy, a Fundin, we are Landra. Let me translate for you. <laughs> what he said was. Here I am, the greatest dreadlock head yes. maintainer of all time. Yes. Come to my place, it's here in yes. Quenos. Quano? Quano <laughs> area. And I will make them better for you. So Sia is extremely happy. Sia <laughs> is super happy. Yeah. You'll find my Rosa. My Rosa. Let me get a close-up of the Marosa there, right? The catch is off there. Look. So if you got dandruff or any you problems with it. your scalp, that's hey, what you need. You. Hey, Joel. Oh. I twist it now. I want to make oh. it there uh, to be smooth, smooth nice. So you put in molding gel, you make it nice. <laughs> that's a treatment. <laughs> that's a treatment of dreads. Look how the dreads. <laughs> so how long does it take to do? Just make one hour, 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. So you also <laughs> use needles? Yes. yes. We trosh. We trosh. So this is a needle? Yes. The trosh needle. The crochet so needle that you made yourself. Oh, wow. You like just poke it in there. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> and even if you want wow. to take it off, you can. Because the way I make it, I make it nice. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, so Look at that. Oh, yeah. The oh, man. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we have to go on to our next event on this uh, township excursion. But thank you so much. When? And sir, thank you for showing us your dreads. Yeah. Yeah. They look beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. Wow. Oh, thank you, thank you. Check it out, this is school patrol. They actually came and told us to get off the road. <laughs> that's how serious they take it. Oh, that's awesome. And they both open the thing to stop and then people are allowed to walk across. Twana Katula Primary School Patrol. Thank you. Speedy Gonzalez here. <laughs> He's trying, he's trying to get them out. <laughs> but an African traffic jam. Oh, they're actually going after the car ahead. <laughs> Horning it up a bit. Oh. Really? So he's yeah, got pigs as well. When we eat and we kill some stuff okay. and we throw some stuff away. So we use those buckets. I said to me, what's the story with the buckets? She's like, no, they collect and then the guys that keep pigs come around. Okay, so this is the it? guy that comes around to collect yeah. the buckets. Yeah. There are cows everywhere. <laughs> this is George. Yeah, this is but have a look what he made. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, man. That's all scrap metal turned into something beautiful. That's a scorpion. That thing is huge. It's massive. And the things that they're using. 
to make it make it into something. This is beautiful. Do some robotics or something. Yeah, yeah. Hi George. Look at the ingenuity of this. Every piece of metal into what's going to be an amazing work of art. Is it going to be a table or something? How long is it going to take you? Uh, about uh, four or five weeks to finish it. Four or five weeks to finish it? I've been working on it for like two weeks now. This is wow. Two weeks so you're training your younger brother as well? Yes, yes, yes. So Milton the dad training George, who's training his brother, making a dandelion while they're making the masterpiece. But we're going to go see some of their works that are actually finished. <laughs> I'm not sure it gets better than this. How's this tractor? Okay, it's pulling something, but check this out. That's the engine. It's an old Singer sewing machine. And that's a spade for his roof. It is so cool, Eric. It's epic. Oh, man. This is a dolphin, right? Look at the stuff it's made out of. I mean, it's like chains and and bits and bobs it is just wow and there's a spoon and a spark plug and almost everything you can imagine in it it actually moves when, it's, when it's too windy so when it's windy it actually yeah, gets exactly. rocking exactly. oh nice one milton look at that thing it's a bull. Uh, it looks exactly like the one on the stock exchange it, ac it actually is a bull i can yes. tell yes. from the back there yeah so it's the stock exchange, so if I rub his horn, I get good luck. Yes, you have, definitely. I'm going to rub the horn. I'm getting good luck, Rick. Uh -huh. <laughs> we had one bear, it was standing there, it was about yeah. two meters high. We'll look out for your horses when we get to Stellenbosch. Yes, yes, I can give you the name of the place. For sure. There you go, guys. Creations for Africa. Metal sculptures, super creative. Come and contact them if you have an idea. So guys, for now, you're going to have to contact Voyo. We'll put her details below so that you can come do the tour. But hopefully you're going to formalize it. I can't wait. Definitely. She says when we come next year, there's so many more things we're going to see. And it's like, she keeps telling me. And it's like, no, why didn't we see them this time? But guys, <laughs> they will be here for you. But for now, just contact her. Definitely. Thank you, Thank you so much, Brian. It was such a lovely day. I really enjoyed. I know, we really did. That's fantastic. <laughs> and Thank I hope you so come back again to get Ooh. more of Cassie Vibe. We For sure, there's still. Cassie Vibe, I like it. Cassie Vibe. Yeah. So you enjoyed the fat cooks, everything. the Shisa Nyama, everything. everything. <laughs> Even the Coke from the, the, <laughs> the nice shop. The Coke from the, the kids shop. And the kids singing. Oh just, my goodness. Oh, wow. It was such an experience. It really was. And then and then going and checking out the metal work. It's yes. like, it's so industrious Oh yeah, here. oh yeah. George and, and Melton. Mm -hmm. George and Melton, you just feel the vibe. Exactly. The cassiness. I'm going to call it cassiness from now. She knows everyone. So don't worry if she's talking to people while you're on the tour. She knows everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Brian. <laughs> Bye. Oh wow, Township Tours. They really are a thing. Well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. See you again next time. That was so much fun. Mm -hmm.